Welcome to City Courtyard Gardens. It's now the end of March and we're looking forward to the beginning of April. And there's been quite a few changes in the spring garden. At the beginning of March I was looking forward to all sorts of things changing and indeed it did. And now we're preparing for another growth spurt in the beginning of April. So come and join us and see what's happened in March. One of the notable things that did happen in March was there was some good weather. Uh, it came in like a lamb, and I'm not too sure if it's going out like a lion, but it did have some cold weather towards the end of March, which somewhat hampered the, uh, the growth rate of certain plants. In particular, the player blossom, which I was looking forward to being a rich show of blossom. Well, come and join us and see what happened in the uh, in this last month. Now we're at the uh, end of the first week of March. There are signs that spring is definitely on its way. Look at this, the pear tree, which is the indicator, as far as I can say, uh, for the spring coming along. And if I just hone in here, look at that. The buds are there, ready to shoot. And in about a week or two's time, this tree will be white with pear blossom. Do you remember this runner bean that I planted? Or the rootstock I put in? And it started growing and leafing in January. And guess what? It withered. And how? Just over a course, just over one day. But yet, there's a glimmer of hope. And it's right at the top here, you can see some rather nice looking juicy leaves. So I think what I'll do is leave it and see if it does any kind of recovery. This kind of plant seems to recover against almost anything. And here's a sign that spring is really on its way. Yep, the crocuses are up. The wallflowers are about to produce some flowers, so that looked nice. And the elephant ears, which, uh, if you're not careful, spread like anything, have put out their flowers. And here's the hydrangea that I tidied up oh, was it a month or two back, and it's now leafing like anything. Here's the uh, potatoes that we put in for chitting all oh, way back in January. And as you can see, they've produced all these lovely eyes and they've somewhat withered a bit. Now we're going to go and plant them.
all my gardening is as experiment. Um, last year, you may recall, I put some garlic in. And these are the garlics I put on, under the clutch. And these are the garlics that I didn't. Surprise, surprise, they look a little bit more healthy. Looking over the top of the square foot garden, here we have the purple sprouting. And look, it is really coming along now. In here we have some broad beans coming out. That's wonderful, isn't it? Eh? In here, these toilet roll holders, the sweet pea. Sweet peas are coming up beautifully. Some of these peas are the ones that we've saved from the seeds from last year. This one here doesn't seem to be growing very well, but if we look very carefully, yes, there's something coming through there. Can you see? Well, it's uh, mid-March coming approaching. Start again. It's mid-March approaching, and uh, it's about time I started planting things out. Now, I was at the shop the other day, and I found some pak choy, and I was looking out for it for a while. And this is a great thing to put in the garden. Here we go, then. So just... We can plant it out now, and it should grow in the next few weeks. Okay, in the next couple of weeks, it'll be... Oh, one month it'll be good to eat. I've got some, something in there I don't want in there. Right, so thinly, so we don't overcrowd it. Right, so I haven't put many in because um, being a sort of vegetable that grows very leafy, um, it'll take up a bit of room. So, as a postscript, we're now at the end of March and a spate of cold weather has actually hindered the actual development of this blossom. I was expecting this blossom to be out in mass, as it usually is at this time of year. Um, but it's late again, so hopefully by the middle of next month we'll be there. And here's a sign of spring. Grape hyacinth. Right, here we have Echinacea. Lobelia. Sweet peas. Leek. Broad beans. And... Pack choy.